Yes. Good morning, students. Yesterday's today our topic is skill and skill rules. So first we have to cover what are our skill, skill rule, and perfect skill. Yesterday's a skill. Um, skill is a number of product of number by itself. So students, skill of a number is the product of the number by itself. But when we multiply two numbers, uh, for example, 11 into 11, then we get 11 square. So this is a square of 11. So next is, what is perfect square? A perfect square can always be expressed as the product of pair of equal prime vectors. Uh, when we now uh, want to form the, uh, when we find the scale of any number, we'll find all prime factors of this number. Then we make pairs. Then we find is this number is a perfect scale or these points and exercise uh, three point one. We already discussed in uh, previous lectures. So now I'm starting from exercise three point two. First, we will discuss two properties in uh, exercise 3.2. Your first property is first property a number having 2, 3, 7, or 8 and its unit space is never a perfect square. A number having 2, 3, 7, and at unit place at unit place is never a perfect square is never a perfect square. Yes, friends. Now your point is a number having two, three, seven, or eight at its unit space is never a perfect square. It means if last digit of any number is two, three, seven, or eight, so this these type of numbers are never a perfect square. So, for example, if a number is eight. 33,568. Now, so the last digit, the last digit is eight. It means this number is not a perfect square. So, let's consider two more examples. One, three, five, six, eight, three, two. Now, last digit is two. So, this number is not a perfect square. Yes, friends. The point is a number having two, three, seven, or eight at its unit place is never a perfect square. It will be used to solve exercise 3.2. Second is second property a number ending. In an odd number of zeros, a number ending in an odd number of zeros is never a perfect square. A number ending in an odd number of zeros. Odd number of zero is not a perfect square. Perfect square. It means a number ending in an odd number of zero. Suppose our number is one thousand. Suppose our number your number is one thousand. 
It means if your number is 1000, the count three is zero in 1000. Three is an odd number. So it means 1000 is not a perfect sphere. Second example, if you have 10,000, 10,000, in 10,000, we have four zeros. So 10,000 is a perfect sphere. Same in one lakh, one lakh in one lakh is a five zero. And five is a odd number. So one lakh is not a perfect sphere. So point is a number ending in an odd number of zeros is never a perfect sphere. Yes, friends. Now, third property is skill of even natural number is even, and skill of odd natural number is odd. Third, last one is skill of even number is even, and skill of odd numbers is. So, these are two points. First is a number ending with two, three, seven, and eight is never a perfect sphere. Then second point is a number ending in an odd number of zeros is never a perfect scale. Third point is the scale of odd number is odd and even numbers is even. Yes, students. Now we will discuss few questions of exercise 3.2. Students, exercise 3.2. Now you can move to page number 55. Your first question is write any five numbers. First question is write any five numbers which you can decide by looking at the ones digit that they are not perfect square numbers. Using first property, if the last digit is two, three, seven, and eight, if a last digit is two, three, seven, and eight, the number is not a perfect scale. So write any five number ending with two, three, seven, or eight. First is eighty-four thousand three hundred thirty-two. Second, ending with zero. Now seventy four thousand eight hundred thirty three. Third, eighty five thousand seven hundred fifty seven, and in two three two three seven, and uh, fourth is. Eight and fifth number, you can write any number. So these are few numbers which are not perfect. We will we'll just we'll see the last two, three, seven, eight, two. Yes, students, in first question, you can write these numbers of your choice. You just note our last is it should be two, three, seven, or eight. So these are five numbers. These are five numbers which are not a perfect sphere. This is your first question. Next is second question. What will be the uh, unit digit of square of the following numbers? What will be the unit digit of the squares of following numbers? Your first number is 951. Second question. First part. What will be the unit digit of the squares of following numbers? Second question, first part. First part 
is now your number is nine hundred fifty one. Now square of last digit. Last at unit we have one. One multiplied by one is equal to one. So your answer is one. Next is second number five hundred two. Now you at units we have two. Two into two is equal to four. Third part three hundred twenty nine. Three hundred twenty nine. At unit place for the nine. Nine into nine is eighty one. So at the units we have again we have one. So your answer is one, not eighty one. Finding the number at unit space. <laughs> Next is four. The fourth number is seven thousand six hundred forty three. Seven thousand. Part is seven thousand six hundred forty-three. At units we have three. Three into three is nine. Last one five thousand one hundred twenty-four. Twenty-four. At unit place we have four. Four into four is sixteen. So your answer is six. Six. Yes, friends. This is first and uh, second question of exercise three point two. Next is third question. The following numbers are obviously not perfect square. Give reason. Give reason. Third question. The following numbers are not a perfect square. Now, give reason why these numbers are not perfect square. Question number third. First part. Your first number is four thousand five hundred sixty-seven. Now, give reason why this number is not a perfect square. In first property, we will discuss if the digit. Two, three, seven, or eight are at a unit's place. So these types of numbers are not a perfect square. Now you can see in this number four thousand five hundred sixty-seven. Number seven is at a unit's place. So that's why this number is not a perfect square. Reason is seven is at unit place. Number seven is that unit space. Second is now number is two thousand four hundred fifty three. Two thousand four hundred fifty three. Now number three is that unit space. So that's why this number is not a perfect square. Reason is three is at unit place. This first and second part of question number third. Next is third part. Now number is six thousand two hundred ninety ninety eight six thousand two hundred ninety eight. Now reason eight number eight is that. Unit place number eight is at unit place.
Next is third question, fourth part. Yes, friends. Question number third, fourth part. Now number is forty-six thousand two hundred ninety-two. Now number two is that unit space. That's why this number is not a perfect square. So reason is number two is a unit space. Next is fifth part. Six uh, sixty-four thousand. Fifth part is sixty-four thousand. Now in units plus we have zero. Now count the number of series. We have one, two, three. Three is zero. Okay, we use uh, second property of square roots. We have all number of zeros at end. And odd number of number of zero. Because in sixteen four thousand we have three zero, and three is an odd number. At and at end of this number we have odd number of zeros. That's why this number is not a perfect. Yes, friends, this is the last part of question number third. Next is fourth question. Question is a square of which of the following numbers would be an odd number and an even number? Why? Yes, friends. Uh, as we'll discuss in uh, the third property, square of odd number is the odd and even number is the even. So reason is same for each question, uh, every question. So first is five hundred seventy-three. First is number is five hundred seventy-three. Last is it three? It means our number is odd. So square will be odd. Reason is same. Square of even numbers is a even, and odd numbers are odd. Second is five hundred Four thousand ninety-six. Now six is that unit place, so six is an even number. So it's square even. Next is. Next number is nine thousand two hundred sixty-seven. Part nine thousand two hundred sixty-seven. Seven is at unit space. Seven is an odd number, so it's going to be odd. Fourth is four thousand nine hundred sixteen. Nine hundred sixteen. Six is at unit space. So it's an even number. So square will be even. So this is question number four.
Clear, students? Next is fifth question. How many natural numbers lie between square of the following numbers? Now numbers are 12 and 13. Now find how many natural numbers lies between square of the following numbers. Fifth question, first part. Now your number is 12 and 13. Fifth question, your first part is, your numbers are 12 and 13. Now, so it's fine, the number lies between this, uh, this square. First, we square 12 and then 2. 12 square, 12 into 12. And second, 13 into Now, if we multiply 12 into 12, we get 144. And uh, 13 into 13, we'll get 169. 169. Now, next step is 169 minus 144. 169 minus 144, 525. So, difference is. 25. Now find the number size between them. We should 25 minus 1 is equal to 20. So your answer is 24. Twenty-four natural number lies between the square of 12 and 13. Dear students, uh, second part, fifth question, second part. Now your number are 35 and uh, 36. Using same method, students, uh, you'll solve second part of question number fifth after this lecture. First, we'll multiply 35 into 35, then uh, 36 into 36. Then in second step, find the difference, then subtract one to find the natural numbers lie, lies between these two squares. Yes, friends. Next is question number six. Without adding, find the sum. Without adding, find the sum. We have one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine. Yes, friends. Observe this. These numbers carefully. These are all. Uh, th this is a sequence of uh, all odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Now, without adding, find their sum. Yes, friends, how we can find this sum without adding? Six question, first point. First point. Your numbers are one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine plus eleven plus thirteen plus uh, fifteen. Yes, friends. So see, this is a sequence of uh, all, all odd numbers. Without adding, how you can find the sum? You just count the total numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These are eight, uh, total eight numbers are here. So simply eight square, 64. Yes, friends? And this way you can find the sum without adding these the sequence of or the natural numbers. Just count the total numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then eight square. Eight into eight is 64. So when we add these all numbers, then result is 64. Second part.
have a number up to 29. This is also a sequence of all odd numbers. 1 to 29. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11. Then uh, 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus uh, 19. Then 21, 23, 25, 27, and 29. Now, friends, without adding, find the sum. First, you count all these numbers. These are 15. Now find the sum, 15, here. Now find, without adding, find the sum is 15 square. 15 into 15, 15 multiplied by 50 is 225. So your answer is 225. Clear students? This is question number six, first and second part. Next is question number seven. The seventh final question is express 64. As the sum of eight odd numbers, express 64 as the sum of eight odd numbers. The students just write the first eight odd numbers, then add. Question number seven. Express 64. 64. As the sum of sum of eight odd numbers. Right, first eight odd numbers, then add. First odd number is one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine. Plus nine. Next is plus eleven. Plus thirteen. Plus when you add these all numbers, then result is sixty four. So this is question number seven. <laughs> Yes, students, today your homework is solve question number one to seven of exercise 3.2. Solve question one to seven of exercise 3.2. Thank you. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.